What's up everyone, Ryan here, and I'm back with another PGA Tour 2K23 Career Mode Series video, and today it is time for round number three of the second major of season three, the Golf Club Championship, aka the PGA Championship here at TPC Boston, and what an incredible week this has been for Ryan Gamer. This is the best golf Ryan has played probably this entire Career Mode Series, sitting 10 under after the first round 11 under in round two sitting 21 under par moving into the weekend rounds and right now has a nine stroke advantage on second place Lydia Ko is in second you have Tom Hoagie there tied for second as well at 12 under Shane Lowry at 10 under and then James Hahn at seven so we've seen though the AI dominate in weekend rounds this tournament is far from over. As soon as you think that you've won, that's when you're in trouble. So we're going to go out there and do exactly what we've done in the first two rounds. Play smart, attack everything, and we're going to go for another 10 under par now. I need all of your alls one times. All the hype and positive encouraging comments, just like always, it is time here for round number three. Let's continue to dominate this golf course. Ryan Gamer has been hard at work on his baseball swing in the new MLB The Show 24 series. If you are not watching that career mode series, check it out. It is electric. That series has been a blast. Ryan Gamer is a six sport athlete at the same time. It's the same athlete across all the sports and he is playing them at a high level. But today's focus, the Golf Club Championship. Let's get on out there and win this tournament. Drop a like if you get some enjoyment. Subscribe for more. Check the full playlist in the description for more episodes. And cheers, everybody. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. Let's have a big round. UK Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Golf Club Championship is about to start. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam, and this player starts their round in the lead. How should they approach today? Well, they've, they've got the lead, and there is a significant chasing pack so they can't get too wrapped up in what's going on behind them. They've got to kind of keep their nose out front. They've got to keep pushing along and play the golf course. Don't think about who's chasing you down. Just think about playing the golf course. But if you do find themselves falling back a little bit, then they need to go ahead and start making a, a little bit different push, maybe come up with a different game plan. But right now, out in front, they just kind of have to play the golf course right now and, and keep that in their sights. That's exactly it's all right. Set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. Don't need to get fancy today, but I also don't want to change the strategy. We've been attacking everything, and it's been working. And I know that was the caddy doc. Her strategy this week for Ryan Gamer was to attack everything, and it's paid off. So let's get the nervous jitters out here and have a big tournament. And let's see That's what it. he can do here today. It could bounce into the rough, though, depending on where it hits here. No, that's just a picture-perfect starting drive. That a boy. What? Good shot. Time for the second shot into the first. Okay, uh, we got a flop here. Now, this is a tough shot. 45 yards. The reason it's tough is because this this flop swing and tempo is really tough for me. I'm going to do a little bit of loft and backspin on this. It's got to hit the tempo. That is beautiful. Wow. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Okay, five feet. It's left to right and then right to left. I'm going to put this on left edge. It's mostly straight in, though. This looks good. Yes. He just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. Haven't we birdied that hole every round? Starting off my round with the birdie, Luke, I can tell you that. Let's take a look at the leaderboard now after that hole, and they're currently in first. Lydia Ko holds second. Lydia Ko gets a birdie, though, on hole one. Ryan Gamer is playing with Tom today. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. 
players Send want it. to take out any club, driver, three, whatever it takes to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green, so players playing cautiously might want to consider laying up. Brody what a shot. Are always a good score this hole, and you're never disappointed with a five. And he's down there. He's got the big 200 all the way back to this pin. Okay, so 200. The wind is a little bit right to left. This is very favorable winds to have a big round. But I think Lydia Ko is going to dominate in these winds as well. 200 yards. I'm going to do four iron. And it, the wind is slightly in our face. It's going to take off some distance. So just got to make sure we don't slow this. A slow would be a nightmare. It would be a nightmare. It would be in the water. Opting for the four iron here. Well, we slowed it, but All we right, also pulled it, thankfully. Club here. We kind of got lucky. If we would have pushed that bye-bye golf ball. Yeah, quality shot from him. He'll be pleased. And he's down there. You got a read? Yeah, guys, he's got 28 feet here. 28 feet, downhill three inches. You know, it, a lot of the critics and the media covering this event this week they were thinking that Ryan had lost his swing because of his focus on all the other sports lately in WWE. You know, the new baseball career that started. The media was like, Ryan, he's going to lose his swing. He has not lost his swing this week. He's actually improved. So, blasting baseballs out of the park and that weightlifting and focus routine that he does has really helped his golf game. What an electric series that MLB The Show 24 has been. It is going to probably go down as the best career mode series on the channel. It already is, I think. It's it's incredible. Get in. It's got a cut. It's got a cut. Terrific shot. Almost an eagle. You can't complain Just about a, a tap in birdie. I mean, you can, but you probably shouldn't. That was a beautiful putt. Had the read, just got to hit it a bit firmer. Ooh, a couple of birdies on the bounce. Look who's on a roll. Video like Cole. Two in a row. Back-to-back -back birdies. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. She's trying to climb up, but... <laughs> par three, measuring 208 yards. A difficult par three, to say the least. Tough to climb, and Ryan Gamer's birdieing back-to-back -back holes here. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. Cheers, everybody. We're golfing this week. Two hundred and thirteen uphill two feet. Nine mile an hour headwind. I'm gonna go three hybrid, a little bit of loft and backspin, and attack it. Going with the hybrid. That's a good club. Is it going to roll down, though, to the left? It should. No, it's going to roll off. That's fine, though. Not complaining about that shot. It's a good shot. This would be a great up and down. Do we putt from the fringe here, Chip? We've got to putt. This is very makeable. A little 15-foot chip shot. I mean, chip. But about 16 feet, actually. It's a little bit left to right. And then it moves back at the end. This is going to be tricky because much from the fringe, especially downhill ones, seem to break quite a bit at the beginning. Get your one times ready, everybody. You should be able to remove the pin. You can remove it when you're on the green. You should be able to remove it when you're off the green as well. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? That's unfortunate. Misread the beginning. Seven feet to the cup. Again, this I thought it was going to break more. For a part. Thought it was going to break more off that fringe. It did not. Looks good off good the par, though. Solid par putt, that. Hey, we can't complain. That's two under through three, but what a good hybrid shot that was. A little bit shorter. That hybrid shot off the tee is going to hold. Lydia Ko gets a par. Tom gets a birdie. Nine to ten strokes down for those two players. Here we are at the they need a huge Almost round three. Almost every player in the field will be going for this green. I'm going for Where it. Where do you hit it? 
front right part of the green is the perfect target missing it to the left in the bunker or long and right that is not good that was an interesting swing play the oh, tempo was great. fine right out there gonna get onto the surface <laughs> but that's gonna be just fine in the light stuff setting up to play the shot here from the green side rough this is tricky so on this chip shot if we hit this slope it's gonna be perfect but if we land it too far it's gonna roll off the green we land it too short, it's gonna roll into this slope. This is difficult. I'm gonna do slight backspin, just barely. Chip it onto that slope, get it to stop. That's picture perfect. Like, oh, wow. I like the look at that shot there, Beamer. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. When you're on, you're well, it's on. It's nice to have a birdie putt. That's a fast start if I've ever seen one, Rich. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. Still in the lead now after that hole. Let's I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts. We have Dog never had a major right like this. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two putt. The wind is picked up, but we have never had a major tournament. We're in season three to where... The AI has played this bad. They usually play really well. Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Our wind's just going to knock the ball down. It's straight at the back. We haven't had a tournament where we've ran away with it like this since week one. Week one at Pinehurst. And Orion Gamber just dominated from start to finish. Won by like 10, 10 or more strokes. Let's hit the 132 pitching wedge carry. We're in the light rough on a 92, 95% lie, but this wind is going to add some distance here. So I like the club. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's great. Got great connection here. Yeah, this is looking good. That is gorgeous. It could roll down a bit. Nope. He's good shot. The surface. Good chance here. 13 okay. feet to the cup. 13 Looking feet. for another birdie here. Steady right to left. And steady steady down the slope. Very makeable putt. This is on a great line. Yeah. Ryan's dancing this week, right? I mean. Fantastic start right out of the gate. He's been on the dance floor a lot. And wow, is he dancing. Potentially insurmountable 11 strokes this after that insane. one. This is insane. Not sure why I said potentially. I have never played this good in this video game. Let's head to this lengthy par four. <laughs> Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pawn fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. I mean, <laughs> we are playing insane in this tournament. Hey, in major tournaments, you got to kick it into another gear, and that's, that's what we've done this right week. There. I also practiced Time a lot. The second shot here at the sixth. And many of you are like, well, Ryan, why do you not have this tempo in the Impossible Challenge series? Uh, so it's important to point out, many of you know this if you watched this series from the beginning. This series is on the Xbox Series X. When I play this game, I always play on the Xbox Series X. The only videos I play on PC are the course showcases so I can do the flyovers and the Impossible Challenge series. The tempo is different on PC to Xbox. There's a little bit of slight difference. And this game runs so much better for me on my Xbox than on my PC. So that is the reason my swing is always better on Xbox. It just is. So when I play this game, when I'm not creating the showcases or impossible challenge, it's on Xbox. Is the game so much better for me on that console? Now, the reason the impossible challenge is not on Xbox is because I started that series on PC. So it doesn't feel right to switch to a different console to play that, that series. So that is the reason the tempo from one day is that drastically different even though it has been solid recently but that is the reason for that and i wanted to point that out to you all some of you may not know that i think most of you all know that looks to have opted for the eight iron yeah this one it's good uh, time to miss it <laughs> yeah i told to right. you 
I never said it's perfect on Xbox. I just said it's better. I would have hoped. <laughs> One of the rare misses for this player day, Luke. They've been hitting a lot of greens today. Way better. Get in. Good try. That's a well played chip shot there. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. And after that, let's not slow display, down. They are I don't want the opponents to make a push, right? With Lydia Ko trailing in second place. Let's not hold anything back. This hole is a par five. Par five, 600 yards straight away. Wanting to make birdies, but par is a good number. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that Struck tight. that shot that's to perfection. That's what we needed here on this golf hole, too. An outstanding performer with already five wins under their belt. If we attack this and land it right on that right to left hill, this could be perfection. Land at our back, a 97 to 98% lie here on the fairway. Ball's going to come off to the left, off this side hill lie. That's a beautiful swing, but is it enough? Okay, so I miscalculated the the lie. So the lie percent, we got the lower part and also the uphill lie. The uphill elevation, I mean. Yeah, I really miscalculated yeah, that we one. Need to play there third. It's fine. The swing was great. Splash this one close. Oh, that's <laughs> great. <laughs> Just missed the hole. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. I had a good Little feeling about that. Here. You all know when I get up there and pick my spot and go to hit it right away, that's when you all know I'm feeling confident. Sometimes it doesn't work out. For the most part, it does. That's we are on fire this week. This, one? It, oh, that's good grit there. this tournament? Well, that was a fantastic effort getting it up and down out of that bunker for the birdie. Tournament's amazing. This is the best I have played in this video now game finds him in first the place. whole time since I've played it. It's not even close. But no, the best I've ever played was the Predator AG Impossible Challenge. Attempt number 11 in my first Par Impossible Challenge series. That, that was the best. Hole in one. Par 3, bunkers left and right, not an easy This is probably the second the best. 193, downhill 5 feet. I'm going to go 5 iron, almost full loft, almost full backspin. Such a good here. swing. So did the loft change the distance that much? That was a bit of a miss. That amount of loft and spin took off oh, that dear. much distance. Can he get out of here? I have just, to get their best bunker technique out here because this is nasty. I, I just made a mistake there with the pre-shot setup. Wow. We struck that really well. That's fine. I sent that though on an overpower. And this one Come on, Ryan. Let's not slow down. 14 feet. Slight downhill. It's tough to see in these shadows though. One time. This one has eyes for the hole. On fire on these greens. That will work. Like just dialed in. We how many putts have we missed this week? Not many, honestly. And still in top spot after that hole. Lydia with Keep the birdie. Going. She's within eleven. She's gonna have to birdie out though. And I mean, half four awaits at this next hole. Ninth hole. Bunkers down the left will not come into play, and this green sits below the players on their second shot. Perfection. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. That's the swing, you know, the tempo, whether it's just the slight fast, slight slow, it's basically a perfect, right? And you, uh, that was just shot. gorgeous. Second shot here on the ninth. 126 uphill four feet. Let's go no loft. I am going to do a bit of backspin with this wind because it's a cross tailwind. It's going to add some distance, add a little bit more forward road to it. Perfect swing. This one's Go got in. eyes for the flag stick. Well, usually Tony Finau is the tall order. But after that shot, I think beating it and getting inside it is I the mean, tall order. What an approach. What has gotten into me in this tournament? 
Yeah, I've been hitting the range. But I mean, I always hit the range. <laughs> it's baseball, I'm telling you. Baseball season. And just it's Ryan Gamer fired up. Pitch. What do you think he is going to happen for this player? Luke, so far, it's been entertaining watching these two go head to head. Not too sure exactly how this is going to play out. But so far, so good. Love watching these two compete. Oh, great swing there. This is the best display of swing playing in tempo in this tournament that I have had probably in this entire video game's life cycle. No, I take that back. We had a few tournaments in season one where we just dominated tempo. To get up, but it's helping, which is nice. There's a couple tournaments. You all remember my tempo was dialed in so much in the in the beginning on the other on the regular Xbox controller that I was just striping perfect and perfect and perfect. Uh, when I switched to the weight, the Razer Wolverine V2, the more sensitive controller, it's made it's made the game harder as far as the sensitivity. I mean, you all see my swing plan and tempo now, but it's more consistent. You don't have those random red slows or red fast. And that's the reason I love this controller. Although it's more sensitive, it really puts me at a disadvantage overall on, on those mechanics. But the inconsistent slow and fast took me off the regular xbox controller and also i think this adds to the challenge because like i never know where the ball is going to go <laughs> with my swing plane i don't this controller is so sensitive which makes it a great controller for any game but not a, not everybody's gonna love this controller on this game that's for sure not for everybody because of swing planes like that <laughs> but i slowed it and it canceled each other out Speaking of swing plane. Bad approach that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hollow long one. Still counts. 17 feet. That would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. Downhill one inch. And if you want if you want to see the difference in the swing plane, I'm telling you all, go back and watch the early career mode videos. Go back. Right after you watch this one, go back. Watch my swing plane on like episode 20, 30, 40. And then watch this one again. And watch the recent ones. Just see the difference in what a sensitive controller does to the swing plane. Those regular Xbox controllers, they're the like the regular Xbox ones here, the Xbox Series X controllers and Series S, they're so their dead zones are so big by default on Xbox that the swing plane is very forgiving. I'm not saying it's easy, because it's not. <laughs> Trust me, it's it's not easy swing plane, but the difference in sensitivity of that controller versus this one is night and day a little push on this controller is or a little push or pull is a massive push or pull here we go enough controller talk hey nice looking line oh some of you might be interested in controller talk yeah we'll take that Lydia this Cole with the birdie. Be Their lead is now 11. Still, though, I mean, this is our tournament to win. Off, this yeah, is... The we are dominating. 231 yards for the back. A very difficult test indeed. A Sending long this. green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by, as pars can be as well. You know what's crazy, though? This is the same AI, the same difficulty settings to where the AI has dominated most of the season and last season. And then you had those some tournaments, those outliers, where the pros just do not play at the same level they have been. Have you all noticed that? With hybrid here. Usually they're lights out. I mean, Lydia Cole had that tournament earlier where she beat us all by like nine strokes. <laughs> and Ryan Gamer had to shoot like nine under that one round to keep up with Tiger Woods to force a playoff there at Atlantic Another Beach. Bad approach. It'll be putting. Didn't get that one all the way up there. Putt coming up here. It'd be good to make a bomb, wouldn't it? 42 feet. Been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. Yeah, our short game has been really good. It's been great all week. Uphill one foot, though, going to be a really difficult putt. Crushed it. I crushed it. Ooh, back there, horsey. I think if I hit that normal speed, Henny, it's going to go in. Chance to have a look over this one? He's got to be careful this doesn't get away from him here. This is downhill. 
Steady left to right. Ouch, that hurts. I mean, there was a slight pull. That slight pull is not going to take that much break. About six feet coming up. It broke more at the beginning than I was expecting. Okay, well. As Hitty Koyak usually says, a slice of humble pie. And that is, Looking there it good. is right there. And that was a bogey by our leader. So the rest of the field feeling a little opportunity here to close the gap. You know, I mentioned this before. This course is nine day front and back. Shot lead. The front and back nine difference on this golf course is insane. You all, if you all watch the EAPJ tour career, you saw now me off on the 12th hole. have night par and day four, nines. Yards. Like, luck. You'll need it. great front nines and then falling apart on the back. And that's what this golf course does to you. That's fine there. This is my type of fairway. Wide open. If Ryan Gamer built a golf course here, <laughs> it would have like a hundred yard fairways. Yards. Ryan, you know you want to make it tough to hit the fairway. Right. Oh, really? 212 yards, downhill seven feet. And my problem this round, I talked about my tempo being so good lately, and it has been, but I'm not supposed to talk about it. It's a rule here on the channel. Gonna come off to the right. The wind's gonna blow it to the right as well. Opting Such a good swing. Hybrid, I think. Yeah, good safe shot. This slight one. pull combined with the slight the slow is gonna be a perfect. Now that Beautiful. Good the whole way. This putt is about 15 feet to the hole. 15 what a feet. Great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Downhill three inches. Steady left to right. It's got a chance. That Great a swing plane, but just it broke more than I was expecting. And this putt coming up for his par. And that's the thing about this course. The pin locations and greens are so much more difficult that's here on the back. Tidy. Nicely hold. And for par. I love the challenge, though. I love this course. Well, the leader is really starting to gap the field now. They're 10 strokes ahead. I was not predicting. Number, but I don't see it for you. Did it's anybody yours. predict four, after last week? 447 yards. This is an adventure filled par four. Adventure filled par four is what we want. It, did anybody predict last week after Ryan Gamer's first miscut that he would come back and be 26 under? I was really worried, but I did practice a lot, you know? <laughs> but still, also been playing a whole lot of baseball, which. Clearly, y'all didn't know. If you want to get better in PGA 2K, just play MLB The Show. That pinpoint pitching must really help. I don't know what it is, but I'm telling you all, whenever I play MLB The Show, it makes me a better golfer. It makes no sense, but it does. Ah, bit untidy, wasn't it? <laughs> Oh, Henny, that looks like a putrid lie. Is it bad? I no, can't explain this is it. Just unfortunate. So close to the fairway, but sitting really down. Just think about this. The video before when I missed the cut, like a few weeks ago, that was before MLB The Show 24 came out. As soon as the new MLB The Show comes out, I'm playing it so much, and my swing is just drastically improved. <laughs> That's going to be my next tutorial video. How to improve in PJ 2K23. Play MLB The Show. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine. Oh my. 90 to 93% lie here, which is not ideal here in this rough. Got to be a de-lofted pitching wedge. Very difficult shot to hit on this upslope. We don't play golf because it's easy. Here. We nice play it for the, the challenge. The love of the game. What a golf shot. You just can't spin it as much from that lie. Still a good shot. Yeah, that lie was nasty, but what a shot from there. Thank you, Henny. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. 22 feet uphill one inch. These are the putts we've made all week. Can we make another one?
Everybody drop your one times here in a comment. Say it out loud. Let's get these one times rolling. That is hunting for One time! That's Which one of you all just did that? Head eyes for the whole, the whole way. Be honest out there. Which one of you all one timed? Leave Let's a one time a exclamation mark in a comment letting me know you one time that. You legends. You might have already left the comment. Just edit it and put an exclamation mark on there so I know. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Just incredible. Par four sweeping from right to left down the hill. This is a challenging hole. We are playing electric right now. Like, the slow canceled out that big pull on the swing. You love when you miss your tempo slightly in the opposite direction of your swing plane, right? Because then you basically get it perfect. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Now the breeze has just got up. You see where the flags are flickering, and it's straight back up into this player. Yeah, 173 downhill eight. We have an eight mile an hour cross headwind in our face. Now it's gonna play more like a straight headwind. Downhill lie too. This is difficult. Difficult decision to make. I think an overpowered six is the way. Yeah, see, here's the, here. the here's the thing about when you're on a side uh -oh. hill lie. This one's headed for the rough. If you miss tempo and swing plan in one direction, the same direction, that ball's going to fly shame. off that Had side hill the green, way more than if it was flat. It. So well, that's it why it went so far to the left. This part of the golf course. I'll put this in, right? Go in! Oh, I thought that one was going in. Putting for a par here. Such good touch. You know, just seeing the player's championship gear on Ryan Gamer. Of course, that's his hometown where he's born and raised there at TPC Sawgrass. Uh, but I have to mention, you know, I mentioned this in the EA PGA Tour career earlier. And did you all watch the player's championship this season in real life? Did you all watch Scotty Scheffler's performance? The last 21 holes going 11 under, I believe. That was exceptional. That's in real life. Like, I just, my mind can't grasp that. My mind cannot grasp how that's possible in real golf to do that. Like, I can barely do that in a video game. Imagine doing that in real life. Like, that's insane. <laughs> and this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. 11 stroke advantage. Yeah, we had an 11 Let's under this week, but... We didn't have an 11 under at TPC Sawgrass. A seemingly simple par four. Oh, that's a sweet looking swing, that one. That was the clutch, probably one of the clutches last 21 holes I've ever seen. <laughs> and Henny, what's he looking at here? This breeze just starting to blow, but it's a helpful breeze. It's one that you like. Got a club down a little bit. 94 yards uphill two feet i'm gonna go normal lob wedge take a little bit off a little bit of loft and backspin and attack it that's a bad time for that fast lovely effort that and henny what are they looking at here just got to use the touch of a feather Belly has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Yeah, it's it's actually going to be mostly straight in. A little bit left edge, but mostly straight. Surely it's going yes! That's been and the story of this tournament. Dialed in on these greens. I mean, this is the best putting display, I think, that Ryan Gamer has showed across all the career modes on the channel. 11 strokes after that one. Not sure why I said potentially. Maybe the only thing to rival this is Ryan's putting Stepping up to in the 16th tee now. EA Sports PGA Tour on True Sound at TPC Scottsdale. You're, if you all watch the EA PGA Tour series, so no no green grids on that, on that career mode series. And... Ryan Gamer came out at TPC Scottsdale and beat the field by like 15 strokes because he couldn't miss a putt. That was probably the best, but this is up there with that. 170, downhill one, downhill five feet. Go. 
opting for the six iron. Wasn't going for an overswing. I was actually going for a slight underswing. It's going to come down. Got a nice little roll at the end. He's safely on the green with that shot. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. This is not where you want to be. 13-footer with a heavy left-to-right slope. There's so much movement here. But do you want to win or do you want to lose, YouTube? <laughs> Ryan wants to win this week. We missed that one, but I... I like, as long as we don't fall remaining. apart... It's been interesting. My strategy this week has been full sin. Attack everything. Usually, that doesn't pay off as well for me. But this week, at this golf course, it's paid off beautifully. Right over the spot they were looking at. It helps when you don't miss putts. <laughs> Believe it or not, when you don't miss putts, you two, you play better. <laughs> and after that fine display, they are holding first spot on the leaderboard with Lydia Ko trailing in second place. I don't think it's necessarily that the AI is, is playing bad. Hole. I think Superior it's that we are playing out right of our left. minds. Second shot down the hill to a very narrow green. I mean, I've never played this good, so. Lydia Ko and Tom are out there just shaking their heads looking at that leaderboard like, what is happening? What is Ryan Gamer doing out there? They thought he'd be distracted with all the baseball he's been playing. No. That dog will hunt. Second shot here on the 17th. Hey, Doc the caddy, she keeps Ryan focused and in line, and also Ryan's personal trainer and swing coach, Jerry. You know, Jerry does a lot across all the sports, but Jerry has Ryan honed in in all the sports right now. He maybe not was as honed in in the NFC Championship game, but, you know, the Dallas Cowboys know how to play against Ryan Gamer. That was heartbreaking. Did you all watch the NFC Championship, Ryan Gamer and the Seattle Seahawks? Sorry to bring it up. I know it's it's a, it's a sore subject. It was heartbreaking. Dallas knows how to beat Ryan. They beat him in back-to-back -back NFC Championships. It's in the center of the hole. Oh, I thought it was going to roll down that slope. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Okay, well, nine feet for this putt, Henny. Downhill two inches. Setting up this putt nine feet from the cup. On Ryan, put this in. This really get his there. We can't miss. Well played. Ryan, the Punisher gamer, is punishing now, these greens today. A ten-shot lead. Oh, and strokes. And they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? Here's my well, prediction. To this, the final hole. I, to the I guarantee well, the AI is about to come out and dominate and sevens will come in the along, final round. Not careful. And next week. Like, I seriously think that it's going to, like, be 15 under for, like, the top five players. I don't know what's happening out there, but they're struggling. Look at that pitcher perfect swing. This is the best the swing has been this tournament. Best the swing has been. Like, it's not even close. That's tidy. Playing this shot from about 210 yards. Okay, 212 out. downhill Off three. Going right to left for him. I'm gonna go four hybrid, loft and backspin, and attack this thing into that slope. I'm gonna come off to the right, the wind's gonna blow it back. Going with the hybrid. I mean, our, yeah, like our tempo and swing plane is on today. It's, I mean, of course, it was a little bit off there, but like still, that is almost perfect on both. If I didn't do as much shot shaping there, it would have been much I better. Know it hasn't come up exactly how they imagine in their mind, Rich, but you've got to like that play. Oh, the win wreaks havoc with another golf ball. I thought he was talking about this tournament has it win as imagined. I was like, what are you talking about, Luke? He's talking about that shot, and that's true. Let's chip this one close. Little eagle chance here. Imagine an eagle to get to 31 under. In the most electric round of Brian's career. Electric tournament. To going down. Look, a perfectly striped chip shot. Rarely ever before seen. Steps up to a punt of about 15 feet in distance. 15 feet. 
uphill six inches. It's right to left and left to right. It's gonna be left edge, I believe. One time to go get to 30 under, a 10 under average in three rounds. Just exceptional display of golf. Tracking. Oh, that's frustrating. An opportunity to make a par here. Well, I did not expect that break. I did not expect that break at the end. Can't complain, though. That is an incredible tournament. The crazy thing is we had a bogey today, and we left some out there. Like, that's hard to say that we left some out there shooting 8-under. That is how well we have played and how locked in our swing is, how locked in we are in the greens. This was incredible. A tournament we will never forget. We got one more round. This tournament's not over. Right? We're not going to rest. We are not going to hold back. Ryan Gamer is going to go to try to get to 40 under. Would be a new record for Ryan Gamer. This is insane. And that's it for today. Missed cut last week. Over par round. That's how you bounce back. Do you give up or do you keep fighting? We keep fighting here on the Gamer Ability YouTube channel. Through 54 holes, this wonderful golf continues. Our leader in the clubhouse. Lots of good playing out there. One round to go. This could be a very nervy final round. Lots of players. Going into this final round, YouTube, we have to make sure we're focused. You can't hold back. We have to attack. If you start to play conservative, the tournament can slip away. So we did get the round of the day. I mean, Tom had a good round. It was their struggles. Tom's struggles was in, like, compared to Ryan, was in round one, two, round one or two. Uh, but he he did can't, well he played good to round two right it was round one now, Lydia Co played good as well we were two strokes better or one stroke better than the lowest AI score which was Tom usually they play much better than that and I think what's weird this week is the entire field have you all noticed that the entire field like the difference between the top and the cut line was insane so I don't know what's going on here at the golf club championship at TPC Boston but weird stuff is going on here with the the performance of the other the the ai pros right but what an event this has been for ryan gamer a 10 stroke lead going into the final round we've only had that one other time which was probably in season one and also at pinehurst this season it's the the week one tournament ryan gamer dominated from start to finish at, at pinehurst the ai just did not show up in that event for the tournament Ryan Gamers hit 78% of fairways. Believe it or not, you are not dreaming. That is a real stat. A greens, 75. Driving distance, 713. I mean, this is just exceptional display of golf. Proximity hole at 24 is, is good, but it's nothing great. What's been great is our one part percentage, 68% out of 54. That is amazing. Look at the putting accuracy. This is off the charts for us. This is the best I have ever putted. Probably the highest birdie conversion rate I've had through three rounds at 68%. Scrambling of 100%. We've only missed 13 greens and every time we've done, we've got up and down. This is insane. One eagle, 28 birdies on the week, 24 pars and only one bogey. That was our first bogey. Almost had a bogey free tournament. But this is just consistent play. We had a worse proximity to hole here in round three. So these are the round three stats. One putt percentage was really good. Putting actually was again phenomenal. The scrambling was phenomenal. And birdie conversion was phenomenal. So like we are dominating this golf course. TPC Boston crushed Ryan Gamer in EA Sports PGA Tour. But he came out for revenge here in PGA 2K23 at this golf course. Back with a vengeance. And <laughs> this is nuts. Hey, we'll take it while we have it. And hopefully we don't somehow fall apart. I I do not think I'm not gonna say a word about, about the final round or what's gonna happen. We're just gonna go out there and play it in the next round. We got one round left. We have an insane advantage, an advantage we have never had. I mean, Ryan Gamer right now is pl is playing like prime Tiger Woods in his career when Tiger Woods would just come out, lead by 10 or 15 strokes going into the final round. That's what Ryan Gamer is doing right now in the PGA Championship, and it is insane. But we got one more round. One more round, and as we take a look at this road of head in the schedule, 
it's just insane to see though that uh the worst tournament of ryan's career a like plus three it comes out shooting 29 under in three rounds in this tournament so then we go to st george's oh no you talk about a course that will humble ryan gamer quickly that is that okay <laughs> i always forget about that course you all this golf course if you have not played it is nuts and then we have the the next major tournament there the u.s open there the northwest open at pinehurst number two so we're going back to pinehurst there uh, for the major tournament and then i didn't realize that they put pinehurst as the major now i actually did not know that did you all know that did you all know that they changed that must have been with an update in the career i did not know that that is awesome does anybody know when they did that i don't remember that being in i don't remember seeing that anywhere so we substituted it in for the bluff championship they put it in for the major that's going to be electric but also i i assume those conditions are going to be insane and isn't pinehurst the it's the major tournament course this season for is it the us open am i wrong on that can somebody confirm that isn't this the home of the 2024 us open this year the host of it i cannot wait to watch that it's going to be awesome so the road ahead we don't have much left here in season three this season is going by fast and what a run this has been i will see you all in the final round check out ryan gamers other sporting endeavors on the channel six sport athlete at the same time and trust me check out the mlb the show 24 series it is so much fun it has been electric and the wwe 2k24 is a blast that if you want to get some good laughs watch that series and drop a like if you got some enjoyment it always helps the channel subscribe for more and stay tuned to the gamer building youtube channel each and every day for new videos as always have a fantastic day everybody